Hey guys, it's something else. I recently got a challenge and this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Someone is asking me how to do well in a city with their RHM Panzer Wagon. He basically told me there's no fucking way it could ever happen. Um, because, you know, one thing I often say in my videos is that you shouldn't be afraid to take your light tanks to cities, you know, if the situation calls for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play battle. Whatever map we get, I'm taking this thing to the city, and I'm going to kind of show you what the process would be like if you were ever forced to play the city, you know, in whatever game you played in something as bad or lightly armored and undergunned as the RHM Panzer Wagon. Let's get started. All right, so this is perfect. This is exactly what I was going for. Um, one of the great things about this map for this video is if I played on a map like Siegfried Line, taking my light tank to the city would throw the game for the sake of the video. On a map like this, the field's useless. Everyone knows it. So if I go to the field, you know, I'm equally... I would actually say it's almost better for me to go to the city, like the K-Line on this map, than anywhere else. So we're, we're going to make this work. Now, first things first is what do they have? I'm not going to be talking much in my plays because there's going to be... It's almost too fast to talk about. But what we can look at here going into the city, Panzer Camp of Ogden 7, VK4502, um, maybe we'll fight the WZ, and then there's also a T-30 who we might fight. So, you know, actually it's not the worst situation, and I should probably be looking for shots on this 13105, because that's free damage, that's low risk. So what I'm going to do, okay, he's not there. Okay, because I don't want to really fight the city just yet, I'm going to get some early damage on the 54 and do some spotting for my team. You can see a lot of my team has actually stopped, so this might not hurt me as much as you would think. Get a shot into the 54, that one bounces. You can see just how bad the APCR on this tank is. The 60 TP is starting to move in, and what you'd expect is that 60 TP is going to help suppress the enemy team. So, this is the fight you're interested in right now. Now they've got the Progetto there. I need to know who's around this corner. Okay, that's the Panzer 7. So, what I'm doing is I'm loading heat. Obviously, you're going to need heat in this situation, and Panzer 7 fired. Okay, that's a shot. Next thing is to check above me and behind me. And so I looked up to see the Progetto. It's not going to dump onto my tank or anything like that. And I looked behind me on the map. This guy's not looking. I can sit here. Doesn't go in. He actually just fired, so we're going to beat his reload for sure. I actually don't know this guy's reload off the top of my head. He is doing a bad job of trying to avoid my shot. That one goes in. And should get some spawning damage for that. Okay, good. Next thing, check the map. No one's flanking me. There's only a 430U supporting me. Panzer Camp Wagon 7 should die in a sec. With him looking at me like he is, I'm not going to risk that. Looks like he just fired, though. So I might be able to finish him off. Okay, there we go. So that's the 13105 behind me. I noticed him on the map secondarily, actually. The main thing is that he wasn't going to shoot me. And here, 60TP is pushing in. So I'm going to wait for this VK to fire. He did. Okay. Commander's Hatch is the only way. So I don't know how to describe this type of play. Basically, I'm waiting for enemies to reload. If they load, they will absolutely damage me. This guy looks like he's about ready to shoot, but he's not even looking at me. I think he... I'm not sure. He just fired, okay? So I was just going to make sure he was reloading before poking on him. That one missed. I should be at his reload again, I suspect. Checking the map. 140's behind me. And this one can go through his turret, so... That's what we're going to go for. He stopped. I assume he's loaded. Okay, he fired. We've got three seconds left on my reload. Okay, goes in. I think he's loaded. I see that 13105 behind us, and I'm going to actually have to focus him down. Otherwise, he's just going to wreck us. So, going to put a heat shell into the 13105. It's fine. VK is 800 HP. We're not winning this side. We still might lose it, though, even though we're pushing in. So, I need to keep an eye on that. I don't know if this VK is fired. I'm going to load to heat right now, because I need it to pen this guy's weak spots. And we'll see... What happens? Once this VK fires, I absolutely will shoot at him. They have a lot of mediums over here, and we're just gonna give it a sec. Okay, looks like he shot. Okay, he did. Next thing is not to be the first one around this corner. You can see a lot of our tanks are flanking, so we might be inclined to push in. Dude, why? <laughs> is that WZ looking? He is. I have to wait for that WZ to shoot. Okay, 60p is pushing in. WZ is... That T-30 is not an issue. So the main threat here is actually the T-30. The WZ obviously can't shoot me. The Progetto might try to drop down. I think it's ultimately unlikely. What's he doing? I can maybe get a shot. Yeah, this guy's not looking. Look at this. Okay. Progetto looks to be reloading. I suspect I'll get one more into him because I think he just dumped his clip. 
okay, goes in. Then from here, 60 TP starting to finally push in. That T30 is going to become a problem for my team. The Progetto is kind of giving me shots. So here there's a huge emphasis on target prioritization. I'd rather shoot at this Progetto than anyone else. And I can probably get shots in him like this. Ah, he's looking, so he notices me. I'm going to drive forwards, and I don't want to get shot by this Progetto. I can always return to that ramp in a second anyways, so it's not an issue. Now... If I play this angle here, I can probably get a side shot on the T-30 once he fires. You can see there's a bat shot in our base, not an issue. And that uh, WZ is going to carry their team. Does this Progetto notice me? Can I flank him? Oh yeah, look at this. Okay. Okay, so he's clipping my team out. I need to get shots into him. I might get one more shot. I don't really mind if this guy shoots me once. Okay, looks like he's not. I've got a Centurion right here that I can flank. I'm going to have to focus him down for sure. And he's going to know I'm here, actually. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, I think I'll beat his reload, so I'm going to take that gamble. I don't know if he has food or anything like that. That would change that, of course. Centurion's falling back. Get a shot into him. Okay, now with that standard B being a one-shot, he's very likely to die. What's happening here? I think the 54 is going to be able to put a shot into me before I'm reloading, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the hit, okay? And then we're also going to kill the Centurion 7-1 and take the hit there, just to keep my teammates alive, and then we're going to go after the... No. I have to ram this guy. Actually, no, I don't have to. Okay. And then there is the Progetto and the WZ. Now, there's an STRV behind me, so what am I going to do? the track. He's going to hit me for sure. Okay. Luckily he didn't kill me right here. I think I need to go for Artie in this situation just to continue to get damage. And that's a Progetto. So I'm going to pull to the right just to get safe. Okay. And I guarantee Artie's looking. So I'm going to put a shot towards the STRV and drive towards where I think Artie is. Okay. And if I kill Artie, or at least get behind an Artie course, I, corpse, I actually have a chance against the STRV. I'm out of APCR in this situation, so I'm just going to switch to heat soon. And I'm going to have to try to run circles around this STRV right here, who's obviously going to try to YOLO me in this context. So what I'm going to do is, because I haven't found Artie, I'm going to sit in a bush, try to see this guy coming in. We'll see what happens. I'm going to switch to heat right now. And it's basically just a matter of waiting for the STRV right here because I can actually use my speed in this sort of close quarters combat and it should give me a huge advantage. Not huge, but it should give me enough to actually do well against the guys. So we'll see wherever he is. Okay, so they're in cap. I'm going to try to skip behind this STRV. Oh, dude, just being a bitch. Okay, he missed. I see the WZ in the mid. It's fine. Okay, so what's going to happen is he's going to drive... Where? Okay. It's a Progetto. Okay. <laughs> I mean, regard no, whatever way you cut it, I did 5k damage. That's a really good result in a city. Um, that game, it's really hard to describe that type of gameplay because it's very instinctual. But you can see, you know, if you watch this video and kind of see what I did, you'll understand some of the tactics that you have to employ in this type of play. It's totally retarded, but on a map like Paris, like what other choice do you have? I did 5k damage, so I obviously had a good game. Um, and if I'd gone in the field, I would not have been anywhere near as helpful to the team right there. So that's the result. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button and uh, email me, lemmingrushmentoring at gmail.com if you'd like private lessons. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you around. Later, guys. Bye-bye.